Hey guys, today we are going to start looking at scatter plots. So we're going to look at what is a scatter plot and what associations or relationships are seen in scatter plots. So scatter plots are graphs that use points to show data between two variables or bivariate data. You'll hear this word bivariate data, it just means two variables. So we're going to be comparing two things. They help to display if there are any patterns, trends, correlations, or associations between the variables. This can help determine if one variable has an effect on another. So what we're going to look at today is scatter plots, and we're going to determine associations between them. So here are three different types of associations that we're going to look at. The first one is a positive association, where our graph is generally going up. As one variable increases, the other increases. They are both going up at the same time. Okay, then we also have a negative association. This is where our data is going down. As one variable increases, the other decreases. So you can see that on this graph here. As the number of absences goes up, the grades are going down. Okay, and then the last one we're going to look at is no association. That's when there is no relation or pattern in the graph. It's just a hot mess. Okay, then we're also going to look at linear or non-linear. So linear is whenever there is a line that can be drawn. This first one is strong because the points are close together. And that second one, it's still in the shape of a line, but it's weak because the points are further apart. Okay, then in these two over here, we have some non-linear patterns. This one's pretty strong because our points are together and we can see that curve. And then this second one, we have a curve here and it would be weak because the points are further apart. So nonlinear, the shape is not a line, but there may still be a curved pattern. Okay, so we're gonna look at these graphs. We're going to describe the relationship that's going on and then describe the association and if it's linear or nonlinear. So this first one, as my days increase, my Instagram followers are going down. So as the days increase, the Instagram followers decrease. As you can see, this data is going down. So we would say that this is a negative association. And then in general, this is in the shape of a line, so we would say that it is linear. All right, let's look at the next one. This one, I do not see any sort of pattern going on here. So we would say there is no relationship between the number of texts sent and the age. The association would be no association. There's not anything going up or down. There's no pattern here, so this is no association. And then obviously, since there's no association, this would be nonlinear. Okay, this next one, as my hours increase, so do the number of customers. That would be a positive association because both of my variables are going up. However, this one is pretty curved. That does not look like a line to me. So we would say that this one is non-linear. Okay, and then last one, as my temperature increases, so do ice cream sales. So that would be a positive association because we are going up. And this one, it's not as strong as some of my other ones, but this is in general in the shape of a line. So this would be a linear association.